Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV here in Miami. Stu Jones with the Florida Power Boat Club, and we are kicking off the 2015 TV show series with a great 2014 signature event, the Key West Offshore Poker Run. So we're here in Miami at Sea Isle Marina, which is probably going to be the last time that we showcase this event from this venue because they are changing their business model. They're going to strictly annual contracts here for the boaters, and that means Florida Powerboat Club needs to find a new home in Miami. Looks like it's going to be Grove Harbor Marina in Coconut Grove. Meanwhile, we're here on a Wednesday as we get ready for the first takeoff Altogether, 160 boats for this run, registered uh, 22nd annual. So about 40 boats today for the takeoff, and again, the rest all tomorrow. Thursday's going to be a big run. The weather is a little bit iffy right now, but it is changing rapidly. Only a half an hour ago, it poured rain here at the Marriott. You can still see puddles formed all around here in the back patio and around the marina. But it's drying up fast because the sun just came out. Very, very windy, but I like to assure everybody, the wind when you're traveling on the backwaters and the bay waters here in the Florida Keys, it's not a factor. It's not a factor because you're in protected waters. Of course, when we run the last 40 miles offshore, down from Sunshine Key and Ohio Key at Baya Honda, it's going to be offshore, but it's going to be a following sea. Today, the winds are directly out of the east, and when you're heading to Key West on a 260-degree heading, you pretty much have a beautiful following sea. So we're going to find out later today as we join our Florida Powerboat Club members for the 22nd annual Key West Poker Run. Let's go. Club members have come from all over the United States and transatlantic. This group, Glenn and Kathy, came from Ohio for their second year in a row with this 42-foot fountain. Now, the run is eventually going to be fast and furious, but for the first few minutes are going to be a nice, easy idle through downtown Miami as we head towards Rickenbacker Causeway. A good mix of boats in this event today, catamarans, V-bottoms, center console, and like the performance, 39 outer limits I'm riding on throwing this big rooster tail as we head towards Grove Harbor Marina for card number one. We're going to move fairly quickly through this first segment as we get our first card here at Grove Harbor. Remember, there's all together about 25 or 30 boats today and a much bigger group that are going to go down the following day. It's a quick touch and go as they pull up to the dock, get their lucky poker run card from Grove Harbor Marina, and then continue on out into the Bay Waters for the official start. And here we go with the first start. Remember, there are three groups today. We let the high-performance catamarans take off and head out fast. Then the performance class, which is V-bottoms running 75 to 80 miles per hour. And of course, we have the sport boat class, which is designed for boats like this. Woody and Marsha Carneal from Virginia in their 39-foot cigarette top gun powered by Mercury Outboards. Here's a popular catamaran, a 36-foot Spectre, driven by Justin Beichel, who also came from Ohio. It's a stern drive boat and ideal for these poker runs. Let's welcome Phil Armitage from Virginia in his 1983 34-foot Scarab. What a great looking ride for a boat that's 33 years old. For the Fast and Furious set, Derek Wacob from Oklahoma has always got a big mean machine. This is a 52-foot MTI with Mercury Racing 1350s, a 170 mile an hour CAD. All the way from Michigan, this is Rich Ainsworth in his 36-foot Nortex Super Cat. This is a boat that's been on runs before. Cuz I Can has big Mercury Racing power. Let's say hi to George and Ann Ariano from Central Florida. They've been in the club for about a decade, several boats in that time, but the latest is Super Beast, this 39-foot MTI. Here's another team that's happy to escape the cold weather up in Michigan. This is Kirsten Burton and his 40-foot Outer Limits. First time on the Key West Poker Run. What a cool-looking Outer Limits V-bottom. Let's say hi to Greg and Brendan McCauley from Missouri in this new 42-foot SV MTI. One of the newer models to the fleet. Notice it's powered by Quad. That's right, four Mercury outboards. Now here's a sister ship to the boat we just saw. This is Wendell Irving, also from Missouri, in a new 42 SV MTI powered by Quad Mercury Verado engines. Here's a nice wide shot to show just how great our conditions are here on Biscayne Bay today. As we catch up with Brent Medley, also from Missouri, in his 38-foot cigarette 600 Top Gun Edition. We'll be right back with more of the Florida Powerboat Club's Key West Poker Run right here on Powerboating in Paradise TV.